folks, it's uh, Steve here from The Big Conversation, uh, just giving the first vlog of 2019 following our meeting uh, last week. Uh, this was the first meeting of, of the year and also the first meeting which has been facilitated by Linda Keyes, who is our new um, uh, Big Conversation facilitator. Um, speaking personally, I thought she did really well considering she's catching up with almost three years of stuff and three years of history in terms of the group, uh, but it was a, a really constructive meeting. Um, the main uh, subject for discussion in the morning was the um, the development of our um, strategy of working towards um, uh, being a self-organised organisation and the development of self-organised teams. Mark Houlihan gave a kind of really full report. Uh, main points, I think, were um, there's at least 11 uh, current teams at Thistle who are really up for getting started and uh, trying to um, be pioneer teams to see how this will work in what we're calling the sort of test and learn phase. Uh, Acknowledgement we don't have all the answers and that we'll learn alongside the teams and the families and the individuals we'll be working with. Um, as part of that process we've been working really closely with Burtzorg uh, UK and Ireland, uh, a chap called Brendan Martin in particular, um, to make sure we've got as much of the kind of um, infrastructure as possible ready to support this development. Uh, an important phase will be starting this year, um, either next month or at the very latest March, when we'll actually begin a process of induction and training and learning with those uh, pioneer teams. Um, this will, uh, which we'll be doing alongside uh, Burtzorg UK and Ireland. Um, we're going to try as much as we possibly can to make those sessions accessible and available to families and individuals who would like to be part of the discussion as well. Uh, part of our big hope is that by doing that, we we'll really help everybody to be working together and to have really shared expectations and, and best hopes for the whole endeavour. Um, We've also been doing quite a lot of thinking, <coughs> excuse me, with the Burtzorg guys about the role of the coach, um, in particular how, how coaches can support teams really well, how teams can be clear what their responsibilities and accountability is, how the coaches can support and help them with that, uh, but also where the coaches relate to the managers of the organisation and what the role and continuing role for a reduced number of managers, but um, managers nonetheless will be in in, 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 in the future at Thistle. Uh, that's something we've done a lot of work on already. We still think we've got a wee bit to go before we're really clear about what the best starting point is. Um, another important development in relation to this that's happened is um, one of the existing teams kindly piloted and tried out um, a software package which is called Microsoft Teams to see how well that could support them to work well as a team, to communicate internally, to share documents, to be able to support plan together and um, using it also for things like communication and med records um, and can also connect up with with um, with other people in Thistle and um, with the permission of the person themselves uh, their families if necessary. So um, we think it's quite a good uh, addition to our um, our support for people and we think it helps teams to work well together uh, and so after that um, initial kind of piloting phase we're hoping that the teams that um, start up in uh, the next month or two as self-organised teams will also be using um, Microsoft Teams as a kind of communication and support tool um, to help them to do the job uh, really well. Um, as part of that process, we're also committed to making sure that the teams have the right equipment. We're, we're, we're thinking of um, tablets that all members of staff should have so that they can input information into that system in a really effective and timely kind of way. Uh, that was the main things about self-organised teams, and it, but I think it's going to be a fast-moving kind of picture, things are going to change and emerge as we go on, so uh, I'd urge people to kind of keep in touch and find out what's happening and, and, and listen to these blogs and others about what's actually happening. Um, the, the group also began to discuss what our kind of work areas would be uh, in the coming year and some familiar themes that we've worked on in the past came up again, 
um, our commitment to really trying to get reflect the reflective practice right uh, and make sure that that's more consistent across the organisation and certainly that our colleagues um, in supported living are getting the most out of it. Um, we're going to be working alongside um, I, other colleagues in, in support living to try and make sure that happens well in the, in the next year. The big conversation is really keen to be part of that. We also um, have been looking again at this idea of um, maybe the organisation once or twice a year having an event that's almost a, a really big conversation. In other words, uh, a, conversa um, a conversation that brings everybody from the organisation together, whether they are people are supported by the organisation who use some of our uh, services or people who uh, work here in all the different parts of the organisation and, and, and families and others who are concerned and interested in our work, bringing people together to share what's happening and to share uh, the best of what we're doing so that we can actually um, support that work better. Um, it's quite an ambitious thing to try and do. Uh, we think it's a good idea, it's a big conversation. Um, and we think we should play a role in helping to promote this, but we need to maybe do a wee bit more research and work out exactly how we're going to manage to do that and how can we maybe help it support the, the new strategy of moving towards self-organisation, how can it support the whole organisation at the same time. Um, we continue to be concerned and uh, interested in anything that will help to promote the well-being of uh, staff as well as the people we support um, and um, that, that, that will continue uh, to be a kind of headline interest of ours. And if we have any specific projects or ideas that we'd like to sort of test out with people, we'll be sure to sort of share them and, and get a bit of feedback from others about whether this is something that might indeed be helpful and useful for, for colleagues. Uh, and finally, there's an enduring um, interest in trying to keep communication um, as, as uh, effective and, and helpful uh, for all staff as possible and, and not leave people out of communication loops. Uh, it will be a challenge in, in terms of all the things that are going to be happening this year, uh, but certainly we're going to do our bit in the big conversation to try to, to help with that. If people have got any really great ideas, please let somebody that you know that's part of the big conversation know about it. Um, failing that, let me know uh, and we'll, we'll try and um, see if we can do something about that and make it happen. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, hope this is helpful and useful. We'll keep doing these vlogs after each big conversation. Um, thanks for listening.